Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Honda CRV 2 litre EX automatic. Finished in black with a matching black leather interior and the side steps as well. Looks absolutely stunning. Um, facelift model, of course, with this lovely sort of new style on the front there. Looks absolutely superb. Lights and lenses, clear, intact, and the cracks for condensation. Bonnet, very, very clean indeed. No obvious stone chips or marks there at all. And then near side of the vehicle, pretty much mirror smooth in the panels. Can't see any indentations that immediately jump out at me. Offside, sorry, near side front wheel, the one takes all the bashing, but there's hardly a mark on there. Very, very clean indeed. And carrying on down there. And very, very clean. Full set of Michelin tyres, by the way, which is always a good sign of ownership. Near side of rear alloy, again, absolutely unmarked. On the back of the car, it's all very, very clean and tidy. Offside of the vehicle, driver's side, again, you can't see any indentations at all. It's lovely and crisp in the panel work. Offside rear, very, very clean. And the main panels look really, really smart. And final wheel, again, in lovely condition. Externally, it's a really handsome beast, this one. Um, it's in very, very nice condition. Coming to the back of the car now, obviously the electric tailgate, as you can see, functioning perfectly. Massive boots on the cars, 60-40 uh, fold, quick fold seats, and this one's fitted with a load liner to protect the carpeted areas underneath. Just coming to the back of the car, wide opening rear doors, gives you access to the back enormous amounts of rear leg room and those front seats are set for me and I'm over six foot tall so not cheating it's exactly as it is in very very good condition back here let's so come into the front drive on the passenger side rather again all very clean and tidy you tripped over um passenger seats been given hardly any use at all coming to the front now door card all very clean footwell areas likewise and driver seat itself Again, in super condition. So inside the car now, engine's running for this section so the dashboard can be seen illuminated. Um, sat nav, as you can see there, working absolutely perfectly. If I pop the car into reverse, get that lovely clear gridded parking camera, all working exactly as it should. Dual zone climate control system, everything so it's been kept very, very, very nicely indeed. We go up to the main dash binnacle. 30,128 miles recorded currently on the car. And there are no warning lights on the vehicle at all, of course. Finally, just to show you, owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut key, both here and present with the car. Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda CRV 2 litre EX automatic. This particular car is registered LB15, WBN, and mileage currently showing is 30,128. The reason, as always, that we do these videos is to ensure that if anyone's looking at the car online, they actually get to see the vehicle advertised actually in operation. And the reason we as a company feel that's important is because we know to our cost, unfortunately, just how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look perfectly good in photographs, um, only to get them to find out it's got a fundamental issue that we would much rather have known about before setting off, no doubt. Uh, we also do it on these very quiet country roads, very close to our premises. And the reason for that is then uh, hopefully it'd be representative of what you feel yourself on test drive, as this is part of the test drive route. So coming to the car itself, uh, been beautifully looked after by Honda, starts immediately of course and settles to completely smooth and even idle. Uh, temperature gauge running at the third which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda vehicle. It's been running for some time now. Uh, engines are just beautiful units. It really is a jewel of an engine. Honda are world renowned for their four cylinder engines and rightly so. It's so sweet in operation. Very quiet, very refined, gutsy, pulls really well throughout the entirety of the rev range all the revs are available to be used um, and of course it's got a reputation for reliability and longevity which is absolutely unmatched in its class um, they are cam chain driven engines there's no cam belts in them so no 
monster service looming on the vehicles at all. Um, but it's just a lovely engine to use day in, day out. It's, it's just so easy on the ear um, and very flexible as well. Um, it matches the automatic gearbox brilliantly well. Obviously the autos ratios are chosen very carefully by Honda to extract the best out of the car in terms of fuel economy and available performance. Um, and it does a really good job of it. It's also a very slick gearbox. It's um, I love it because it's a conventional gearbox. It's just torque converter based um, and just the gear changes kind of slur beautifully in and out uh, with you hardly even notice it. And it, like the engine, you know, the gearboxes are known to last you know, huge mileages. Steering on the vehicle, very, very well done on the car, I have to say. Um, I don't know what it is with some manufacturers. They think if it's an SUV, they, they kind of, it kind of gives them carte blanche to give it a, you know, sort of a ponderous truck-like steering system. This feels just incredibly car-like, but also makes the car feel very solid and secure on the road. It feels really tight. It's very precise and accurate. You know, without pretending for a second it's a sports car because it certainly is not. Um, but what it does give um, is a very, just a very confident drive. Um, you, it flows the corners really, really nicely. Um, and the chassis and the steering work beautifully together. Um, so, you know, it's, it just feels like, you know, you're in control of the car, you know, quick corners, slower corners or otherwise. Uh, it does it wonderfully, wonderfully well. Uh, it also tracks absolutely dead straight. There's no vibrations at all at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit. And it just feels as tight as a drum, which you're clearly going to expect with such low mileage. The chassis, as I said, is, you know, the, the CRV is the best selling SUV in the world. And it's very easy to see why, because it just it strikes the perfect balance between having good body control so it's not heave hoeing through corners and wallowing about but also offers a very compliant, very comfortable ride. Um, and it, it, it achieves both very, very well indeed, I have to say. Um, what I'm looking for on road test, regardless of age or mileage, is just listening out for any kind of clonks or rattles coming from underneath the vehicle that shouldn't be there. And there's nothing at all, of course. Um, but that's going to be checked. This is going to be going for an independent MOT, hopefully tomorrow. Um, brakes on the car, I'm just going to get around the corner and give them a hefty shove so hold on to my things and make sure they don't go flying forward but basically really powerful brake pedal on the car pulls the car up nice and quickly um, pedal exhibits no pulsing or vibrations so all in very very fine order there so coming to the interior of the car um, it's just a lovely place to sit. I, you know, I always say it about the CRVs because it's true. Um, you know, it's one of the, these cars when you get into, and you immediately feel in control of the car because you've got really good visibility. Um, a low dash line really helps with that because it gives you a very good view out of the, um, the bonnet over the bonnet, and I can actually see the bonnet, which is a minor miracle. Um, but you've got these massive wing mirrors again which just gives you that feeling that you know what's going on around you it's what a lot of my customers notice when they first drive the cars is you just feel confident driving it and it's, it's immediately obvious why the dashboard itself is very well laid out it's very highly equipped but it doesn't phase you it's simple it's easy to use you've got this big screen sat nav which again is very simple once you've done it a couple of times um, dual zone climate control system offering, offering you the opportunity to have different temperatures side to side um, like all Hondas the quality of the switch gear is absolutely fantastic uh, I'm a bit of a nerd for these kinds of things but I really love the fact they put so much effort into that kind of stuff um, dash binnacle in front again just simple easy legible um, dials there no more information than you actually need and very well presented steering wheel which feels absolutely is new in hand all operating perfectly it's not like those unwieldy big steering wheels you get in some cars it's, it's kind of diminutive perfect rim diameter leather bound just feels just really nice to hold um, this is a four-wheel drive version of the crv albeit there's no buttons to press because the car does all the work for you basically and um, honda worked out very quickly that most of its customers would be 
driving in perfectly good conditions as I am today. So if you've got permanent four-wheel drive wearing away, of course you're gonna get through more fuel, um, you can get through your tires more quickly, and you put a lot more mechanical stress through the car over the years. Um, basically the way this works is very simple. It does, as I said, it, if the front wheels start to lose grip on snow, ice, or mud, um, it immediately brings in the rear wheels seamlessly to bring, give you four-wheel drive, and it's incredibly effective. Uh, I've been using CRVs for uh, decades almost um, to tow my caravan and never come close to getting stuck with it. And the beauty, of course, is the fact that it is part-time or hardly ever used. Um, that helps its reliability because you know, we've been selling CRVs for nearly, or Hondas rather, using this um, Four drive system for nearly three decades and not so much as put a spanner on any of them so it's, it is a very 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 tough unit uh, setup indeed as i said at the start of the video the point of it is just to show the car in operation to, but as i said to feedback on anything that's amiss and nothing at all it drives as cliched as it sounds absolutely is new it just feels factory tight it's a lovely lovely car and it's so easy to see why they're so so sought after and this is a particularly particularly nice one as always though if you've got any questions don't hesitate do give us a call